since 2007, there's been a question that has plagued mankind. A question so diabolical that nobody can truly answer it. That question? A or B? Relating to Portal, the question has a very basic problem. If the portal speeds towards the cube, will the cube either drop out of the portal or launch out at full speed? Now I have seen people argue and argue and argue about this problem, from physicists to Eric Wolpaw himself. Now I'm not saying that the writer and dev of Portal 1 and 2 is wrong, but he's wrong. And today, I will prove that. Not with basic physics but with the actual physics from the game within the engine and explain how these things work. I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. In test chamber 10, in portal 1, there are vertically facing platforms that move towards the player. Now this is important, because I propose to you that you cannot place a portal that is moving towards something only if it is on the x slash y axis to that object, as in this handy dandy drawing. Now, did you see that? Let's slow it down a bit. As you can clearly see, the platform moved towards the player, but did not allow for portals until it was fully stopped to be placed on it. Not only that, but Gladys also confirms that it wouldn't even be B in the problem provided, simply because, as she says, In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. There's also one more very important line that Gladys says in this exact same test chamber, just before she said the previous line, which is, You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Exactly. Portals do not affect forward momentum. It doesn't matter if what is coming at that cube is coming at it from the front, from the back, from straight on. It doesn't matter. The cube has no momentum. The portal does not affect the momentum of the cube, nor would it affect the momentum of the platform coming down. Say the platform comes down and launches the cube. That would not happen because portals do not affect momentum of stationary objects. In this case, in the problem, speedy thing is not going into the portal as the cube is stationary. Thus, speedy thing, which in this case would be the cube, cannot come out because it is not going in with the speed. Now let's shift our gaze just a bit to the second game in the series, because this is where things get important and prove my XY axis theory. In Portal 2, we come across a neurotoxin generator, and we need to find a way to disable it by cutting its lines. In the map, SP underscore A2 underscore BTS5. We come across two moving panels used with a laser to cut the lines. As you can see, clearly, the platforms are moving in an XY direction relative to the player. And relative to the player, they are not moving towards the player. Thus, they become a portalable surface. One is moving up and while one could be argued to be moving towards the player, it is also moving on the y-axis only. It is not moving on the z-axis relative towards the player. Thus, it can still be a portalable surface within the logic of the portal universe that's already been established. There's also one big plot point that stares you in the face, quite literally, at the very end of Portal 2. And that is the moon itself. As we know, the moon at the very end of Portal 2 is in fact a surface that you can portal on, of course, thanks to moon rocks. But the moon 
orbits Earth and also has a rotation in it. However, that orbit and that rotation is also on the x-axis compared to the Earth's perspective. It is not moving towards the Earth. It only moves in that one direction and spins in that one direction. However, I will concede one thing. The moon does in fact move in a Z direction at about 3.78 centimeters a year. But one could argue a couple things. One, that the moon does not move towards the earth, but away, which would allow it to be a portable surface. In this case, that would change the logic, of course, of the universe. You can put a portal that is moving away from you on an object, but you cannot put a portal that is moving towards you on an object, which would also still support my theory. Or the movement at 3.78 centimeters is so negligible anyways that the portals can still be made on the moon with no physics barrier there. Since the moon is moving so far away, the portals don't really care. Or maybe in this universe, the moon does not move away and it is a static object. Who knows, you know? Uh, the moon has never been uh, stated in Half-Life canon or Portal canon to move away from the world. So maybe it just stays in one place, which would also still support the theory. Now, I know this is going to come up in the argument that someone will inevitably make that you can portal on the ground while it moves towards you. I will counter that argument and say that the platform itself and the problem is the one moving, not the ground. In this case, if you were the player and you jumped off of a high object, yes, I will concede the ground is moving towards you. However, the ground is a stationary object. You are not. And that is entirely not the purpose of the image at all. The purpose is that the cube is stationary while a platform moves towards it. So after all that, I personally propose a new solution. That solution is C that it cannot happen as proven within the physics of the game itself. But who knows, right? Maybe I missed the surface in Portal 2 that you can portal on while it's moving towards you. And if that's the case, then I would love to hear it in the comments, and I would love to see it myself. But I personally have replayed Portal 1 and Portal 2 to make this video, taking notes of just about every single surface, and I cannot think of a surface that moves towards you that you can portal. But like I said, maybe I'm wrong. And again, I would love to hear it and the test chamber that it can be found in so I can further research as well. So yes, that's it. That is the true answer behind Portal's A or B puzzle. Physically, within the engine, within the universe, within everything that is explained in the game, it's neither. Neither can physically happen because you cannot have a portable surface that is moving in the Z direction towards something. But if it was one, it would be A.